Welcome back to Love TCL Scorpion 72 and today we're going to be taking a look at Reverse Flash from the Flash TV series from um, DC Collectibles. This figure was supposed to come out since February, we're now in August, there's been a few delays, but he's finally here. Um, he looks like he's straight out of the TV show, um, he comes from a bunch of accessory, well mostly hands and one accessory piece. Um, you see him in the window box packaging. Uh, they have the side view of him. Lately, been using the side view of the figure rather than the actor who portrays the uh, reverse flash. Um, and then we have the look at the back. So now this whole section is complete because now all those figures are out at retail or uh, specialty shops. So without further ado, let's check out the figure inside. There he is, reverse flash. <laughs> so DC Collectibles finally got reverse flash out to us finally. And all his glory. I have to say, just by taking him out of the package, he feels different. Um, the plastic feels different. Uh, the movement feels different. Um, these are all good things. So, um, right off the bat, you know, it, it articulation it has a ball joint. Arms go outwards, forwards. Uh, elbows on a ball joint with a swivel. Wrist, same thing, swivel, and it got a hinge. Um, upper torso, like or the chest part. He has a waist articulation. That's something the other Flash doesn't have. Um, legs can go outwards, kind of hindered from the back. And here, he has a thigh swivel. Leg can go outwards, kind of get him in that running pose. And he has double jointed knees, always handy for a runner. Get a little closer to this there. Kind of starts getting dark past this part. There's boot swivel right above the boot. And there's ankle and ankle. Is it ankle rockers in him? I did not check that out. No, it just seems to be ankle hinge. Yeah, ankle rocker. Mostly on this this foot here. I don't know why this one's not twisted. Nevertheless, I'm not going to overdo it. I don't want to snap, but I shouldn't snap anyway. No plastics. Like I said, the feel of this figure is really, really different. Um, it really feels solid. I do wish it was a little bit more yellow, but it is based off the TV costume. So who knows, maybe he'll get an upgrade, uh, updated uh, uniform in the new season. But nevertheless, he looks awesome. And here is the Tanashi effects. The lightning effects really come in handy with this type of figure. So, Reverse Flash comes with, I forgot what this was called since the episode so long ago, like we're already getting into season 3 and that's another thing guys that I get used to is that these figures are going to be coming out basically a season uh, behind because I don't think they get the information in time enough to prepare the figures and stuff in time for when the season starts, so uh, before the season ends. Um, what's neat about this, uh, I think it's quantum something something, <laughs> enhances the speed in other words. This part here, you can see there's a groove, and the thing is, is that it goes right in this embryo. So, um, it fits really snug. So once you get it in, let me show it in the right spot, you kind of push on the front, and it kind of stays. I think I have it a little upside down this way, let me see. Yeah, so there we go. And you push it on, and it kind of stays on because I tried it before and it wasn't really sticking, so now it stays on. That's pretty neat. DC Collectibles did a really great job of adding this accessory piece. Other than this, I don't think of anything else that they could have added except for maybe some uh, lightning uh, effects or lightning pieces to put on his arms. That would have been really, really cool. So he comes with a slew of extra hands. So Reverse Flash comes here with a total of 7 hands, uh, 9 if you count the ones that's already on them, and they're pretty useful depending on what pose or what uh, kind of style or um, this, how you're going to display him. What's really neat is that they added that little gold like uh, paint on each of the left hands to show his flash ring, a Reverse Flash ring. Um, hands easy to change, should be. Just kind of pull out, always pull forward, this one's tight. Oh boy, here we go. Mm. Alright, no breakage, yay. Uh, which hand should we use? Um, one here looks like more of like a 
kind of grab choking hand type thing so we're gonna put this one on Shake it in. it's a little bit tighter than I like it to be for this I'll take this off for now and for this hand we put we'll put the oh boy yeah it's a little tighter than I'm used to so I'm a little afraid about that but it should be all right And there we go. A little running hand. Uh, oh, this hand looks more like the kill hand. <laughs> I look how straight it is. It seems really like, like the time you killed Cisco. So, the other thing, let's see. Um, sculpting, really well done. It doesn't have that feel and texture feel like the Flash did, which is a little bit different. But I do like the sculpting and everything. The other only great thing or nitpicking I have about this is the fact that his eyes are not red. It's rarely we see him with his clear eyes and stuff like this. But they did not do his red eyes effect, which we're so used to seeing him in. Um, which I'm gonna do a little quick like before and after. Here we have Mattel's reverse flash. And as you can see between the two, they're quite slim similar. Just that the lines and everything in detail, even the red lines here are a little bit more prominent on the Mattel one. But look at the face. That's what I'm talking about. Mattel got it right. This is how the paint should have been done on this guy's face. And I would have gladly, gladly traded maybe five of these hands for uh, a changeable or swappable head with him on mask or at least with the face like his eyes painted or something because to be honest that's the way we see him in the show for season one and two that's the way he appeared rarely did we see him with his eyes like I mean, not being red and stuff but it would have been a nice contrast and thing to do because this one looks a little bit more menacing than this one this one you can really see it doesn't really look as threatening as where as a uh, reverse flash appeared on the flash tv series when you really look at the two of these figures side by side, you can see that you know these collectibles could have used a little bit more of the red lightning on their first flash. Of course, here he is with the Mattel flash. And then after we have the DC collectibles flash. So you can see the difference here in height. Overall, I'm really happy to have this guy in hand. Ever since that opening scene when the Flash TV series started, I just couldn't wait for them to do a figure of this guy. Um, Reverse Flash is one of my favorite characters, and he's always been far and few between getting figures, but lately, there's been a slew of them coming out, and I think I just got to buy them all. And here we have them all with the Mattel ones, all the TV versions of the Flash and Reverse Flash standing all together. You can see the difference between the two companies as it should be a difference. Um, the head on Reverse Flash is very, very uh, bigger than the Barry's <laughs> here in the regular Flash. Another thing too, the feel of him is completely different. As I mentioned, Barry does not have the waist swivel. Um, but yeah, it, this one feels more playable. It actually feels like a kind of like Marvel Legends, Mattel type feel as a playable figure. This one is, you know, basic DC collectibles figure. Um, still using the old plastics too, but it's, this is still solid, believe it or not. So it's, they both got a different feel. So maybe when the next Flash comes out with uh, the changeable head on that uh, Barry Allen, you'll have the same feel as this one. Um, in case you guys are wondering, does this harness fit on him? As you've seen, like when he made his appearance in Supergirl, and the answer is no, it does not. So I've tried. Uh, this way and I try the other way and if you even try you know there's a groove here it's because the reverse flash insignia is a lot more pushed out and more prominent than the flashes one so even if you try to angle it in the same way the lightning is and try to push it it does not work so it does not stay on which is kind of sucks because he does use this at one point so Maybe the new Flash will be able to utilize this too for if you guys want to do like a scene or something like that.
So reverse flash here um, finally came out. He was due to come out the 2nd of February. And for all you guys who have a calendar, you know this is not the 2nd of February. This is the 3rd of August. Um, San Diego Comic Con revealed that because of the delays, and the reason for the delays is that they've been trying to do factory do plastics to get the best quality figure and merchandise into our hands. So that is why the delays have been happening. So if that's the case, okay, fine, but it would be nice to get this information or something about this a little bit ahead of time. I'm not in detail, but just to let people know that okay it's still coming out but it's been delayed because there have been delays to the point where it's been cancelled um uh darren cook uh, adam strange is a perfect example the constantine um, um dr fate helmet and uh captain cold's gun has been cancelled too and we don't know if it's due to them changing factories or just not enough orders it's been nothing but it's just here's a pre-order for it and all of a sudden it just disappears and it seems to disappear right the, the month that it's supposed to come out so that kind of like is a big time bummer and not getting any feedback on that it's kind of really like um it's not cool in other words it's really not cool i'm not gonna try to find a fancy word for it it's just not cool like let us know what's going on why is it not coming out something a little not asking for like you know business rights and something so um reverse flash came out um the wednesday this past wednesday it should be available at comedy uh not comedy comic shops especially stores and stuff where you get your these collectible figures if you're a fan of the flash tv show um do recommend getting him of course because there's going to be more figures coming down the line um saw my other videos about san diego comic con our uh, previews we're getting zoom and there's some from Legends of Tomorrow which appeared in Flash obviously and some more from Arrow so this whole TV universe now has gotten bigger now that we see more figures revealed because at Toy Fair we only saw like um, um, Unmasked Barry Allen Flash and uh, Arrow and we thought well, okay where's the rest of them there anymore yes there is more coming and they have mentioned that they're gonna keep coming and rolling them out um as much as they can so it'll be cool to just have the collection grow from there still a few favorites of mine that i would love to see uh in figure form a uh, gorilla grot i'm sure it's a big one for a lot of us and even support cat or you know cisco and um you know what's the name oh jeez forgot his name <laughs> so yeah let's go uh wells of course wells Oh, I forgot the one that killed place for Killer Ross. Ah, Caitlyn, Caitlyn, <laughs> Caitlyn Snow. Those support characters have been really, really cool to see in this. So oh, we can feel like a big, big, nice, nice, happy TV family. So this is Scorpion 72. Tell you to enjoy your toys, and until next time, keep playing. Ciao. If you want answers, Flash, you have to catch me. Catch me if you can.